Hello, so this is a tu quick tutorial on how to use my stereographic uh, Graticule in Inkscape. You can get the Graticule from my DeviantArt page. So, to start, let bring up the Layers dialog, this thing. And we want to get into this locked layer and edit the actual Graticule. So first, document properties, and let's add a bit of a border or a margin. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So now we have a nice margin around it to work with. group of two objects, we want to ungroup it and get just the circle around the outside. Duplicate it and then scale from center using control and shift. That looks about good. And add another one. And Select both of those and path intersection. Oh. No, wait, we don't want intersection. We want path difference. What the? Oh, that's it. I forgot to duplicate it. Yeah, there we go. So now I've got a ring instead of a full circle. We just filled it like that. So next, enable snapping. And we want to snap to path, snap to path intersections, and then drag. guideline and when it says snap to path intersection. No, that's not an intersection. There we go. And then you can disable those again. We still want uh, node snapping on though. Now over here can draw a line and then copy the style over onto it so everything's consistent and that's a tick mark. Click on it, click on it again to get it into rotate mode yep. and grab the center of rotation and we can drag that over to the center here and now when we rotate it, it rotates around the center of the graticule Of course, if you hold control while do yeah, hold control while doing that, it rotates in 15 degree increments. But for a bit easier control, you can use the transform dialog, and th these are 15 degree increments. But let's put slightly more precise tick marks and go with five degree increments. So duplicate, apply, and there we have it. So that's enough that we can cover 30 degrees and then we'll copy all of that when we've finished the border here and fill in everything. So let's duplicate that again and then rotate it by one degree. Select that again, duplicate it, copy that, and then Control Shift and scale it down until it
cuts off the border. Node edit mode, select both of those and join across. Select both of those and join across. And now we've got a nice little trapezoid. Select the trapezoid and the ring. Path intersect. And now we've got a segment. Duplicate it. And a, oh, no, we don't, don't want to apply it yet, just yet. Undo. Put it in rotate mode. Grab the center of rotation and put that over here. When we did the intersection, it lost the old in center. That's not quite right. There we go. Snapped in. And now we apply, and it moves over. So, let's set those to some contrasting colors. Pick that, increase it to 2, duplicate up. Oh, right, forgot to set the center on that one. Should have done that before duplicating it. All right, that's there. It snapped. There we go. And Keep going until we reach 30 degrees. Select all of that and group. And we enter 30 degrees up here. And again, we have to move the center of rotation because this is a new object center and then we duplicate 8 and apply select all of those 90 degrees duplicate apply duplicate Apply. And there we have a nice ring. So then we can select the entire thing, unselect the underlying graticule. And then group. And we can move it around. Nope. That's not ungroup. Delete the old border. Copy. And then we want to snap rotation centers. Oh no, not rotation, regular centers. Duplicate. to snap if you're actually dragging the center. So instead
manually. And group everything. And then pass those union. those apart. And we can merge those. isn't quite precise, but should do. Nope. Disable snapping first. Delete those. So there's more clean up there. You can say merge these in various different ways. But that's the basics of it. So we can lock that down again. And then you've got these layers underneath that are hidden by default. So that gives you a blue background for all of these. And this one lets you draw stuff, but it includes a mask, so everything will stay within the extent of the map. So you can see here, when you click on that, it extends over here, but it's all masked nicely. So as long as you s draw on that layer, it'll only show up in the areas that it should. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, it's just working with it uh, the normal way you would with Inkscape.